Okay, so we waited a while and we're going to feed the worms now. Here is the box. So this one we will call the brood box. This is the sump and we use one of these just as a lid for temporary reasons. Um, we've got the food here. We'll explain to you just now what that is. And we're going to open it up. We made a, a little bit of a cardboard shield. You can see Starbucks coffee grounds and a little bit of soil. We're just going to do a quick check to see where the worms are. This is an invasive procedure, but sometimes necessary. Seems like they're quite shallow. There's one right there. Immediately hiding from the light. So, them being shallow and close to the surface means they're very healthy and they're feeding. Right, so we're going to proceed to feed them some snacks. Alright, so we've got some bananas, uh, skins, banana peels, and then we have got tea bags in the paper still. Remember, if they've got um, if they've got staples, then you have to remove the staple because you don't want rust. We're placing it all over. We've got about a kilogram there, seeing that we've got 250 grams worth of worms in here. Uh, that's good enough for two weeks. We're going to strategically place some of the tidbits all over. To your left you'll see lettuce, to your right you'll see the banana peels, a tea bag in there. Those are egg shells that we crushed. The finer you crush them, the nicer they are to eat. The worms that just love this. Okay, so we've got some a mixture of, of everything here. Um, we've got an egg carton. Obviously, we soaked the egg carton in water first, tore it to bits and pieces. It's been made of recycled paper, so this is the best type of paper that you could use. We're going to introduce that into the equation as well. You'll see I've got, a, I've got an old slip here from the ATM, and I've got some junk mail mixed up in there. The, the worms just love that. So with our control medium, we're going to put the recycled egg uh, uh, waste in the, in the air from the egg cartons. We're going to place the banana uh, peel pieces in here and the lettuce there. And this will leave the worms so that they can be able to migrate all over the show and they'll increase activity by means of them wandering around seeing what they want to eat. So in here we've got tea bags, coffee grounds, any, anything, any vegetable that comes from the kitchen. Now we're going to introduce some breadcrumbs. Every household has got some breadcrumbs. Those that you don't put out for the birds, you can give some to your worms as well. Now we've got some potting soil. And we're just going to lightly dress everything that we added with potting soil. Just to slightly cover it up make the worms feel safer and also that keeps pests at bay if there would be possible pests right so that's what it look, looks like we're going to cover it up with the cardboard it's a makeshift lid but it works perfectly then we're going to add another bin as uh, so it will work as a lid seeing that we don't have a lid as of yet that will do fine right so the worms have been fed we can leave them be for two weeks time you can every now and again inspect for pests or insects or anything that's bothering them
by seeing that you're going to keep them on a, on a safe place, it won't be necessary. Right, red rocket out.